guys, it's Ashley from Media Glitch. How y'all doing? Sharing the couch with me today is the lovely Joel Valley. Hey guys, what's happening? So today, this fantastic video I have to show you is going to be my Overwatch panel from Game On Expo in Phoenix this past weekend. It was wondrous. Give it a check out. Hey, Monty, let's hear it. <laughs> Next, we have Carolina Ravasa. <laughs> and next, we have Josh Petersdorf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. didn't tell us you were. Yeah. It was a beautiful emo road hog. It was good. Oh, he's really good at that. This is easy. Hi. <laughs> that is amazing. Well, welcome guys to Game Expo 2017. Thank you. That is amazing. I would like to go through and ask one question for each of you so far. Okay. So I will start with the lovely Miss Anjali since you're the closest to me. Oh God. Okay. Does your 24. <laughs> 73. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? <laughs> jackal. Jackal to jackal. <laughs> Um, does your accent for Symmetric come naturally, or is it something that you practice? Uh, it comes pretty naturally. I mean, I grew up with an Indian family. I am Indian. Um, she sounds a lot like my mom. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's, a, it's an accent that I've been familiar with my whole life. That's so it awesome. came, it, her accent specifically came naturally, but obviously her accent isn't the full breadth of her character, so her vocal quality is a little bit different. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, it's, it's so easy when we're dealing with um, characters of different ethnicities to just it can be easy for people to just pigeonhole them based on their accents, but as a voice actor, your job is to create more complexity than just that, because people are more complex than just that. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yes, yeah, the, the accent the accent is easy. Oh. The character is a little bit more tricky. <laughs> <laughs> it's a That's little bit awesome. slyer. Meant for greatness. Yes. Totes. Totes. <laughs> and Carolina, where do you get that sass from, girl? Seriously. I have no idea. <laughs> she is sad. No, I'm trying to think of, of why I connected to her dark sense of humor so much because since the audition, I'm like, oh, I got this. But I just because I get it, I, I get her sense of humor. Mm, I'm trying to think. I think my uh, my aunt's husband, he's always been kind of sassy, like in a good way, you know. And he throws stuff at me as a kid, you know, and say stuff, and I'd be like, yeah, well, blah blah blah. So I feel like I just learned to. Wow, this is really loud. Um, I just learned to throw sass back if it's thrown at me, okay. and so I, I play with it. But it's not like I don't think I'm a sassy person as it is, you know. But I, I, if I if I feel the sarcasm coming, I'll throw it back for sure. So, you know, I guess growing up with it, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it's the second language for you. Sure, it's a, a it's, yeah one of one of my languages. <laughs> she speaks to speak the language of love. <laughs> and Josh, um, I've always wondered this since you play a character with a mask on. Do you do your lines with a mask? That's a great question. Um, we did not do any of the recordings, but there were some when I kind of like did the breathing. Okay. I was like, you know, okay. like stuff like that. So that's amazing. Yeah, um, there was an amazing video Blizzard did at BlizzCon. <laughs> <laughs> They did this amazing sound design video when a lot of the amazing uh, sound developers and engineers at Blizzard went through uh, all the clicks and kind of inhales and gasps that went into making Roadhog take hits of that gas. So That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm a pretty good Roadhog myself. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, Josh. Be careful. Job security, job security. There's no Roadhog Junior. Team. <laughs> That's a new line, I can say that now. <laughs> Jeff, call me about that skin. Call me. <laughs> I love it. I love so it. I have to say, with this new Summer Games emo, I mean, um, Summer Games DLC that came out, I'm kind of disappointed that Roadhog was not in a Speedo, like he is oh. in his spray. I wanted that so bad. You know what it was? He didn't, they called me and they said he's just not, he didn't have his tan. Oh. No. He wasn't tan, he didn't shave his legs. You just Roadhog have to come join us all in LA for a pool party to see yeah. that skin. Yes. Josh will, Josh will totally do that for you. Yeah. Sorry, I just totally pimped you out for no reason. <laughs> You're welcome. Didn't, I think, did, did Torbjorn get left out too and a couple other... Torbjorn! Torbjorn got left out. Torbjorn. He needs some armor. And a speedo. And a speedo. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. 
Okay, we're ridiculous. Makeup sorry. Too, poor thing. I'm like, yes, no. she did. She did indeed. It's all right. She's well, still We all have a ton of skin, so yeah. True. You know. True. They're really. I feel like they're pretty darn good at Blizzard. Darn good. Gosh. Darn. No, they're pretty darn good about spreading things out over the different events. Yes. So that I everybody. Agree. You know, they're equal opportunity skin yeah. makers. Like I need my pop, yo. I need my fun no, pop. No, clearly. Funko pop. Do we not need a pop for these two yeah. and for Mercy? Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. And Farrah and for on, Mercy. Go. Wave three, please. Wave three. I know, I know. All right. So you know. So some of the background questions I have is, how did y'all land this role? How how did it start? Well, for me personally, I did it like I'm assuming everyone uh, who books a great role through casting agencies. Um, I think we're all represented by some great agents and agencies in Los Angeles, and it came through the the pipe. And you don't know what these projects are. A lot of the times, they have like code name on it and stuff. So. I don't think, I think I knew because it said this is a Blizzard game, but in my little intuition of being a gamer, it gave me a little heads up, but I didn't know it was Overwatch when I did it, so yeah. that's how I got it. All right. I just paid them a ton of money. <laughs> no, never repeat that. Um, yeah, well, we, we, we have agents, most of us I think do. Uh, I've been working with Abrams for, I don't know, eight years, and they get me auditions, and this one came across their desk, and... They were looking for a Hispanic accent and Mexican Spanish, which I can do. So it was lucky that those were the specs, and then I happened to bring the character in. But um, it was just basically saying she's kind of like a Jessica Jones, and I connected to that. So I didn't know what it was either. And uh, two months later, I booked it. So I had even forgotten about it. And my agents were like, "Hey, you got this," and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> so I and Sombra had a different name, so I didn't even know what I had auditioned for. Um, anyway, and so that was that. It was, it's all been kind of an unfolding surprise because I didn't even know Sombra was a big deal. I mean, we're all big deals. You know what I mean? But like, I, I thought she was a side character. I just thought I'd kind of pop in and out. And Entire I didn't event at her. BlizzCon dedicated yeah. big deal. But I didn't know any of this. So, you know, it, it was a big surprise. surprise. Yeah. And you did a great job, too. So well Thanks. Yeah, he did. You should do always oh, do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wish it was, I, I say this all the time, I wish it was a sexier story in terms of how we audition for things, but yours is cool. Well, I mean, it, it's kind of the same thing that we all, we get the audition and we go on the audition and you hope to book the job and you try to forget about the job after you've auditioned for the job because you don't want to care so much about the job that you're freaked out. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, we get the audition and we audition for it. And then we go but um, uh, my the hotel room? Yeah, no, the, the lovely thing about technology these days, especially when it comes to voice acting auditions, is that you can be anywhere in the world and audition for it. And I got the audition when I was traveling in Europe and I had to stay up all night for an event the, the night before, so I had to do my audition at seven o'clock in the morning after staying up all night, right before getting on a plane. So I recorded it on my iPhone and sent it in, and then Boom. lucky me. So, um, so that's a beautiful thing about technology and about this particular, about this particular lane of acting is that um, thanks to the combination of technology and creativity, you can kind of do it from anywhere, which is a beautiful thing. That's awesome. Have you guys ever played Overwatch personally? I was gonna say Josh, you said you were a gamer, so maybe I see that my rose going. I am. Uh, I'm silver ranked right now in Overwatch. Oh, nice. Don't need to brag. Just got destroyed by the pro wolf at the Alienware truck, though. So, but yeah, I love playing. I always say I'm better than Matt Mercer ever will be. <gasps> I'm a black belt, so whatever. <laughs> is that true. a thing? He's that's a great not guy. A thing. Uh, IRL yeah, that's not a, that's not a thing. Oh, can I say I have a bronze? I'm a bronze. That's not a, that's yes. not a Oh, thank you. Okay, yes. great. I'm like I'm, I'm silverish and um, rose gold. Um, <laughs> uh, no, guys, I played at BlizzCon, and somebody died. Watching, yeah. I remember watching you play on the PCs, and yeah, that was fun. Really? Yeah. Well, I hadn't met you. I know that was just kind of. You should have come and said hello. Oh my god. I was so intimidated by her for a while. We tell this time. <laughs> we're goofballs. How can you be intimidated? Because you were a, a strong, confident, kick butt woman, and I respected that. So. Oh, yes, that's our boy. Thank you. But back to this crazy story is I, I died as Sombra, I say 27 times, but it was probably 75. Oh, no. So I nice. thought that you had friend was like, why are you jumping off of a cliff? I said, I wanted to see if she could fly. <laughs> I was just like, oh, cliff. 
like I thought she would swim or something. Oh, I'm terrible oh. at this thing. Yeah, I'm I'm somewhere in between there. Like I play, but I play poorly, and I and I I make an effort. It's just I'm I'm I run into the same problem. Like I'm terrible on console, and that's all we have at the house. And so I'm I run into walls, and I fall off of things, and I think there's a floor, and there's no floor, and then I remember recording the line where I fall off a cliff because I'm hearing myself fall off a cliff. And, and, um, and you're thinking about something else. So, but but A for effort, maybe like D minus for execution. I think in my world, I'm trying really really hard whenever I do get the chance. It's just yes. that I'm, both of you guys have really hard characters too. Like the learning curve is pretty steep for Sombra sure. and Symmetra. So for sure. that's my excuse. It's not you. It's not you guys. They're tough. I know. Th thanks, Dad. Thank you. Thank you for making me He's feel not better. Soldier so many like He doesn't need to be. Holding R2 and looking at someone is so difficult. Oh. Just, yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite voice line? <clears throat> I know it's probably really hard from all the ones you've recorded, but I, I, every once in a while a fan reminds me of one that I've forgotten. But since the beginning, it's just been "Relájate, I'm not going to kill you." Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite of yours too. I can pick my favorite of yours, but I can't pick my favorite of mine. The car wash. Well, I, I know. That's I know. My <laughs> Listeners, he's like, do, do the gut wash, do the gut wash. Um, no, it's hard, because like, they're, they're all such elegant ways to diss people. And she's so, like, you think that she's saying, so, like, is she saying something nice? Because it sounds nice, but it's really mean if I listen to the words. Like, just, you are not meant for greatness. It's so, like, terrible. Did you just say I suck? Because I feel a little bit like you just said that. So, um, yeah, I can't pick my favorite. Every single time I think I've got one, someone else reminds me of a line. I'm like, oh, that one's good too. And she signs, um, you know, stuff for fans. She'll write, you were meant for greatness. Well, yeah, because, I mean, I can't, I, otherwise, Sweet, you know? it's, it's such an awful thing That's to write true. on someone's picture. <laughs> like, I'll put it in oh, quotes if you, want me to get, if you want me to write the exact line, the mean line, I'll put it in quotes so you know it's not actually right. me saying it. But, yeah. Sorry. You were all meant for greatness, yeah. let's totally. be honest. <laughs> I think there's a funny story about Roadhog I like. He's one of the only characters, I think, that everyone has like three greetings. Like, hello, hi, greetings, you know. Yeah. Roadhog's is like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is, hey. <laughs> the third one is, <laughs> He's a man of few words. Yeah, strong silent try. You get a grunt out of that. But I, uh, I really like the, the Halloween line. Want some candy? <laughs> Creepy. And, not creepy at all. Don't accept candy from this guy. Do not. No, no. Do not uh, do no. it. It has to be in the wrapper. It has to be in the wrapper. <laughs> for sure, for sure. You know that. You guys, you kids know that when you're growing no up. Candied yeah. apples. No candy Don't take the unwrap. And don't get the weirdo who like gave you the handmade like popcorn cake either. Oh, no. oh God, yeah, this got fun. dark. This got very dark. <laughs> and anyways, next question. If you could make a voice line for your character, what would it be? Hmm. I know, I, I'm getting to the roots. Okay, so I, I've, been, I've been thinking about one and I suggested it to <clears throat> Michael Chu. Uh, we'll see if he takes it. But, so, any Latinos in the house? Maybe, okay, woo! Anyway, uh, I don't know if so much in the Caribbean or, uh, but like Central and South America, when a little kid falls and, you know, they get a boo-boo um, and they're crying and then like the parent does like a sweet little kind of thingy and it says some rhyming thing and then all of a sudden, you know, the boo-boo goes away. And it goes, sana que sana culito de rana, si no sana hoy, sanará mañana. Um, which, if I translate it, means, that's <laughs> so weird. Uh, heal, heal, the little butt of a frog. <laughs> if you don't heal today, you will heal tomorrow. And Sombra is like badass, and she would say that like, oh, sana que sana, culito de rana. Like, she would kind of mock you saying that, like, oh, go fix your own boo-boo. So I think that culturally that would, you know, connect with most countries that speak Spanish. Oh, yeah. I plead the fifth because that wins. I, I know I would love to. I would love to have some lines in Hindi. That's where I'm just gonna leave it at that because there are a few things that I I would love to say and I just don't want to. I want to plead the fifth on that because who knows they might. No. <laughs> I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. And I don't want to kill you. I like you. <laughs> that's, maybe that's, that's, a, that's a good one. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I want to hear Roadhog say something about the Pachamari. <gasps> yes. I just want something. I want him to like acknowledge like and how does he say it? Does he say it like happy like Baji? Or is he like, <laughs> or is he like 
So creepy, so fast. Wanton killer with ruthless habit for destruction and cruelty is the tooltip description of Roadhog. Wow. In you other words, a big like... teddy bear. <laughs> he loves his panties. You could do something with like Roadhog talking to Junkrat saying, hey, maybe we should bring Pachimani for good luck on our next... Yes, our next... yes. <laughs> or what do you use for your hair? What kind of gel? He's just... <laughs> the same thing Pachimani uses. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> Would you be interested in making a full-length animated film seeing how popular... Yes, 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 yes. 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 I wear prosthetics like yes. that before. I'm not afraid to yes. put a big suit on. So yes. just get onto your Twitters and find Jeff Kaplan yes. at Blizzard we'll at Michael Chu. We live animated, live action. Have the hair. Yeah. We're available. Oh, we're dying for a movie oh oh, or a fantastic. series or something. Because yeah, the animated shorts are so incredibly popular right? and they're so beautiful. Yes. Wasn't like, the new Doomfist one amazing, guys? Yes. yes. That animation was so great. I loved the animation yeah, yeah. style for this one. Great. It was yeah. so good. So that's why I had to ask. I was like, as a fan. A film would be amazing, like maybe how everyone's, like how it all intertwines into sure. the universe. I think that'd be fantastic. Oh, that would be a really cool it. thing. Sure. I agree. Well, I they, think you all know of what? us would say yes. Ten years ago, heartbeat. they were like, oh, we want a Warcraft movie. So you never know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You never know what might happen in, in, in the world of entertainment. Yeah. Well, since we're done, you know, Smack Talk and Matthew Mercer, would you ever want to be a guest star on his show? Critical yes. Role? Yes, I love Matt Mercer. Yes. And I no. Love, they're great. <laughs> yeah. I would be so pathetic. I would keep No, it would be so much fun. But Darren DePaul did it. Yes, Why he can't did. You? He totally can do it. Sprig, right? Was that his yeah. character? Yeah. Sprig. Yeah. Shout out Sprig. Come on, yeah. Reinhardt, Reinhardt, Reinhardt. Let's Reinhardt, go. Right. Listen, I'll, I want to do it so badly. I'm I would do tequila that with Matthew Mercer, but I won't. Uh, or uh, Hyper, uh, Hyper uh, RPG okay. with Johnny Cruz. Yep. Yep. That one's yep. Parsex yeah. is another great one too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of great ones out there. That's a Matt Mercer is such a great dude. Um, I think that I always like poking fun when I'm like, I'm better at fair than Matt Mercer. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, I'm better at life than Josh Peter Storch. <laughs> oh, no. Matt Mercer. See, Matt, I could give him and I could take Matt him. Matt is pretty <laughs> good at life, but you are too. So oh, don't thank worry. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> um, how fun is it to be a voice actor? Super fun. It's really, really fun. <laughs> we have a great time. It's like, it doesn't matter what you look like. You just be crazy, you know? Like, <laughs> you, usually me and Peter Griffin go out. Can you tell we hate it? We hate my, it. It's awful. My it's, name's Cleveland, and I live on Long Street. <laughs> As you can tell, we don't like it at all. No. It's an amazing job. And I always say, and I know these ladies agree, the best part of our job is when we get to meet all you guys. So, I mean that too. Absolutely. To it. I think it is, it's really fun that it doesn't matter what we look like. So, you know, I've played little boys for cartoon stuff and I want to do a ton more stuff. Um, but, it, you know, we can be old ladies, we can be robots, we can be little beetle bugs. I don't know, you know, it doesn't matter. You yeah. just got to squeak and stuff and it's all good. Awesome. <laughs> um, is voice acting really hard on your natural voice? It depends. I mean, it, uh, it depends on what you're doing. I mean, obviously, like... <laughs> If I was trying to do the voice that Josh does for Roadhog, it would be really hard for me. Um, and also, there, whenever you're doing um, what they call exertion lines, like death throws or like fights and stuff like that, that can be very, very difficult on your cords. So part of the job is learning how to have good vocal hygiene and take care of your cords. And hopefully, you're working with an organization like Blizzard that's very careful with their actors and understands that it's t uh, it's taxing because, you know. You go out for a night with your friends and you lose your voice. Mm -hmm. Imagine doing four hours of talking or four hours of screaming or four hours of that for your job. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely can. Okay. And also it depends on the type of character. Like when I do my little kids, all of a sudden, like after two hours, my voice is really tired. Yeah. Um, so I, I know that I need to find better technique to do it. Um, I'm really glad, so, or, you know, I've recorded a lot for Sombra and I'm really glad it's kind of on my pitch. If I had to sound like Diva, I mean, I guess I wouldn't have gotten cast, but um, I'm just really glad that it's not so high-pitched because if they're early morning sessions, I wake up and I sound like a dude, you know? So you warm up your voice, you know, it's a, it's a whole process. So I'm glad that I'm on, on my low she register. She calls her like, Jake? She's like, no, it's Carolina. Exactly. <laughs> Blizzard. Um, but yeah, you know, so it depends. Like, afternoon sessions are way better than morning ones. And... Um, <laughs> 
Rockstar, duh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely just know your limits and don't um, do not do anything that you would hurt yourself to do. Yeah. Would you guys ever be interested in being in more video games? Because I know Josh has been in some, Carolina's been in Grand Theft Auto. I don't think I've seen anything for you as far as video games except this one. Uh, Fallout 4. I played a character in Fallout okay. 4. Would you be interested in... Oh, oh, yeah, no, look, I'm an actress. I'm interested in doing anything that's legal. So, uh, I, I'm, I, yeah, anytime you get a chance to tell a story in any medium, I'm, I'm in. I, I love doing it. I love, I love the medium of games, of video games and um, virtual reality, particularly because it now puts the players in the story. You know, when we're acting on screen or on stage or whatever, there's definitely a relationship built between the audience and the, and the performer, but it's still separate. Whereas when you're in the game, you're playing the game, you're telling the story, you get to be activated, you get to be, you have agency, you have power. And I love the idea that, that people get to choose their own adventure. So being a part of that, yeah, absolutely. And I also think that, I, I was confused at the beginning when Sombra came out, I'm like, how do these people know my voice lines better than I do? <laughs> but it's because you guys play Sombra for hours, so you hear her say stuff that I forgot I recorded, you know, six months ago. And so I think it's really cool that you guys get to play our characters because that's how much more connected you all are to the characters. And that's a really special connection that we have to you versus if I'm just in a movie and you guys watch me, you kind of don't play me, you know, not me, Sombra. Um, so that's a really cool, yeah. it's a cool thing that I hadn't really understood until Sombra came along, you know, in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any future projects? That you are, I would say, I, I don't need any names. That we're allowed to talk about? Uh, yes. I do have some stuff coming up that we're not allowed to talk about, but stuff coming Definitely up. Definitely working on this stuff. It's like true. Like, there's a bunch of this. We all there's... have stuff. <laughs> yes. It's stuff. coming. <laughs> yeah, we sign our life away, and if we say anything, they might kill us. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. So there's some stuff. Yeah, we like our jobs. We want to keep them. Um, but yeah, I think especially in in the gaming industry, they're very very careful about keeping things secret because obviously leaks happen so quickly. So, um, but also in TV and film and everything else nowadays with social media, we just have to be extra careful and not talk about it. I did I did get permission. I, I did a little thing on Mr. Robot last week, which is super cool. Super. Cool. Um, I can't tell you anything about it, but I acted in a scene. Um, so that's that, which that's is cool because it's you know Mr. Robot. Yeah. Um, Oh, I, I shot a movie in Cuba last year, and it's a horror movie. I hate horror. I do all these things that, you know, like, um, it'll come out, so I'll put it on my Twitter when it comes out, but it's like, it's a dark movie in Cuba. Yay. Oh, yes, I am going to shamelessly promote. <laughs> Woo! Um, I have a series out right now, which is on full screen which you can just like go online and watch it. It's called Cassandra French's Finishing School. Uh, it is a dark comedy about a young woman who takes her dating life into her own hands um, in a very humorous way. Uh, and I suggest you all go watch it. And I play Wendy, the incredibly fast-speaking PR agent. Ooh, amazing. Yes. <laughs> She's a little bit uh, like Ari Gold, only not a jerk. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. So check it out. It's really fun. It's really funny. The whole cast is awesome. And I love it. It's really good. <laughs> I haven't switched out to the silver screen as much as these two, but I do have a Twitch channel, and uh, I do love streaming. We're up to almost 10,000 people on that, Damn. so we got to go. And with all of you, it's going to be like 20,000. Yeah, it's it's lit. Go. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Do you guys ever hang out outside of yeah. like recording? Oh, does no. it? I don't like her at all. Don't, 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 I say, yeah, they're like, don't lie. I follow lie. you on Instagram. You can't uh, lie to me. I we saw don't you hang out with we him. We do. <laughs> yeah. You can't lie to me. I saw you we eat cupcakes. Do. Oh, we, we, we eat slam those cupcakes oh yeah yeah no yeah. i don't even remember what that cupcake tasted like um it just went like straight into my stomach uh yeah no we totally hang out once we once we all met yeah. at last year around this uh, at the rap party i think it was just that was it it was love on. at first sight it's cool too because there's a crew that kind of lives in new york mm -hmm. and there's a crew that lives in la so it's kind of neat to see uh, and i like, take yeah. planes to yes, see you all that's true she's good at that over. yeah I mean, that's the thing, we live far away, so um, the ladies hang out in New York once in a while. Farah and, and Mercy join us, and um, and then I was in L.A., so that's where <clears throat> Roadhog brought us a gift. Yes. We did a fun video, if you yeah, haven't seen it, check it out. House. Yeah, so we try, you know, it's just we don't all live in the same city, so we do our best. We let each other know when we're coming to the other coast, yeah. so... Frequent flyer miles. Yeah. But it really is, you know, it, it really is awesome that, um, you know, Blizzard cast all these people, and... 
we all get along. Yeah. It's, and, and it's not always the case. Sometimes you work on TV shows where like you might not like one of the actors because you just don't get along. And in this case, we're all like, oh my god, we gotta hang out again because um, we, we it's just a good it's a good little family. So. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's awesome. What do you guys do on your downtime when you're not recording and being famous? What is this downtime you speak of? <laughs> yeah. what, what, what? That's why I don't play Overwatch, guys. I don't have downtime. Yeah. I work at uh, Universal Studios Hollywood as Optimus Prime and Megatron. That's fantastic. Fun. Character meet and greet. And I had some amazing people at this convention bring me a picture they had taken Aww. with Optimus Prime and, and their sons, and I signed it for them. That's and that terrible. was amazing. Aww. So that was really fun. It's never happened to me before, so shout out to you people. That was really cool. So that's what I do in like my downtime. Working at a theme park in LA as a voice actor and a character meet and greet is the greatest thing ever. So, <laughs> it's really fun. So I just landed at something else. They have a new closing ceremony with the Harry Potter show. Ooh. And I unofficially, unofficially can say this, that I am the voice of the sorting hat in that. <laughs> Gryffindor! <laughs> Ten points for Gryffindor, I hope. I hope. That's fine. Well, does the audience have any questions they'd like to ask these lovely individuals? What was the most fun moment you had recording some of the voices for your characters? Mm. Great question. Let me think. As much as it was tiring, and I may have said in the past that I didn't like doing it, the exertion lines, like all the death lines, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy having to stand in a studio and pretend that you're dying in 20 different ways. Like, you know, we, we talked about this recently that like, you'll, they'll, okay, now you're falling off a cliff, but you hit something on the way down. Now you're, you're freezing, now you're being electrocuted. Like, you have to come up with all of these things and it can, it's creatively, it's awesome. It's super fun to come up with those ideas in your head. Like physically it's really hard, but um, I think I really liked the falling to my death. That was kind of my... <laughs> I'm a dark person. I know, what the heck? Go, I'm thinking still. Um, I love doing the lines with Jump Rat. Oh, I can't yes. say. So, did you guys record? We did not record it together, oh. but we had the wonderful on, uh, Andrea Toys, who was there, and Michael too, who would, were basically like, so your little sidekick is this crazy, like, explosive expert. You can't stand him. <laughs> so we want to hear the irritant. Do you ever shut up? You know, stuff like that. that was really fun. And doing his laughs. I really enjoyed doing his laughs. Because I got like a good wheeze. Like the one when you pick Roadhog on the character select screen, he does that. <laughs> wow. Woo! Give us another laugh. You see how wet my face gets? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all the blood just rushed to your face. It's all diaphragm, kids. Oh, yeah, it's all yeah. diaphragm. So that was really fun. That was my favorite part. I don't know, guys. Um, I remember just doing a lot of boops. <sighs> yeah. And I would literally do this, which made me feel crazy, but I'd go boop, 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 boop. Like I didn't know what the boop was about, so I did all these pitches and long ones and short ones, and so I guess that was funny, I don't know. Um, I like when I'm making fun of characters, like, cheers, love, <laughs> you know? Um, so I think that I really I really enjoy when, they, when they're throwing in other parts of the story or characters that then like, like I make fun of uh, the guy in the red shirt, who's a guy who goes to BlizzCon every year and like points stuff out about things, and so I, I kind of like the inside joke things, I think they're really cool. Um, I don't like the exertions. <laughs> Those are like, hard. I don't like Tough. doing them. I like coming up with them. Oh. <laughs> like, I like imagining what it sounds like, and then uh, when my voice hurts, I'm mad about it. Did you that. guys ever get told to tone it down on your deaths at all? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, this guy. This, someone's a drama queen. <laughs> Wow, Roadhog. They're like, he's just dying. He's not being thrown into like a, a fertilizer machine. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got shot once, not by the cavalry. <laughs> oh no, you know what I do do all the time is I always assume that like, I'm in the middle of battle, so I'll be like, you know, uh, EMP activated. And they're like, just Easy kill. bring it down to bring a six. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh. EMP activated. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I thought I was like running or something. They're like, no. So someone is always more in control than I think she is. Um, so they toned that down. But not my deaths, never. No. <laughs> I, I will say it was fun recording the car wash line just because it, it felt like one of the few moments that I could show Symmetra has a sense of humor. I know. And that sure. was enjoyable. 
That's funny. That's the definitely end. one of my favorites. That's one of my, my selects, for sure. That was like, great. But I have to say, I love when y'all are getting electrocuted, especially Lucio, and he's like... Ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to laugh every time it gets I mean, me. They're so good, right? I Some mean, of them are weird, though. There's only one like... person who electrocutes people, too, and it's Winston, yeah. right? Like, oh, really? Yeah, Shit. he's the only... But, the... like, do you remember one where we're freezing, and then yes. we get shots, and we're like... <laughs> 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 You know, or like you're falling, like goofy, <laughs> you know, and we have to do the splat, like, yeah, cause, like right. some thing went the through. One, yeah, you. the one that I, the only one I remember is like hitting something on the way down. Like, How was that? <laughs> <laughs> like, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could go on for days. <laughs> Gosh. Like but yeah, at the end of that one, you're really tired. Yeah. Your voice is like, <laughs> but satisfied. Sure, sure. Next. Pink hair. Who are your favorite characters outside from, you know, yourselves? <laughs> Just in general? Yeah, in general. Oh. And like, why? You mean in the game? Okay. okay. Oh, in the game, okay. Yeah, yeah, that... I was about to be like, Peter Vinkman, Ghostbuster. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you had that one ready to go. <laughs> That's impressive. I, I love Widowmaker. I don't know why. Maybe because she's also calculated and stuff and like, kind of sexy, but sly. Um, I like Marcy because she's got cool wings. Yeah, yeah like and she Sombra. can fly. Yeah, yeah. I'm like. I like Sombra. Yeah. Got the peppermint. He's trying to get points with me. I got the peppermint skin at Christmas, oh, really? and I was oh, like, "We yes. rock this." Yeah. <laughs> You're just a glitch in the system. <laughs> love it, love it. I want to be Anna when I grow up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's right. I see you. Oh, look at you, baby. There's a few Annas. There's not a bunch of great Annas. Yes, Cosplays yes. been amazing, by the way, this entire con. All oh, you guys yeah. look great. Got a big hog over there next to the dealer crew. Yeah. Zen. I see a Zen over there, a little Zen action. Hey, oh, and a, yes, a Zarya. Yes. Amazing. Oh, nice. there's so many of you guys. <laughs> Gentlemen in the glasses. So, obviously, uh, earlier you mentioned with technology and the internet, we have so many avenues for young, budding voice actors to get into with Reddit, Voices.com, and stuff like that. What advice would you give to someone who's coming up uh, in order to like graduate from those platforms to the more professional avenues, like having an agent and getting these uh, bigger gigs? The question, if you couldn't hear on the other side of the room, is what would you do if you're a budding voice actor? Where would you go, and what would be the next step to kind of go to the next echelon? There's a wonderful site called IWantToBeAVoiceActor.com. I don't know if you've been there, but and I know it sounds cliche, but if you go there, it will literally take you step by step of all the different ways, because we all kind of come into it differently, yeah. you know? And you all kind of, you find yourself, you do it because you love it. And you do it because it makes you feel good and you like doing it. You don't do it for a paycheck, you know. And if you do it right, the money will come later, you know, and you won't be worried about it by then because... It so probably my, won't come at the beginning. Yeah, right. <laughs> Seriously, so just have that in mind. Yeah, 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 it's true. And, you know, all of us have... I've waited tables, bartended, worked at Starbucks, worked at Togo's, you know, worked at UPS at 3 in the morning. Like, I've held, we've held a ton of jobs, you know. So don't ever give up. Believe in yourself and just... If you keep going and doing, I always say this, if you do the right things in your life, the right doors will open for you and you'll be ready when they do. That was a beautiful answer. Can I cry for you on that? I would like to cry. <laughs> Next. Gentleman in the front. What's your favorite Overwatch skin? Mm, me? Yeah. I like the Mako Rutledge shark skin. So it is Mako. It is. Very good, because now I can prove my friend wrong. Oh, oh. <laughs> now it's it's Maori is pronounced the culture of the New Zealanders and Australians that wrote Huck does and some of his Maori skins when he has the yeah. tribal stuff. Um, so I've been learning a lot about that also because as you notice, he's not overly drenched in an accent, and they never really asked. Junkrat has more of an accent, mm -hmm. but I think uh, with Roadhog, it just kind of worked, and they, they were like, we like the way this sounds. We don't even want to change it. So I think everyone agrees, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Better say yes. <laughs> Any other favorite skins? Oh, okay. hello, my school bus skin is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Love I it. got that one day two. Sweet. I'm squealing. Um, I really dig the um, both the Davy skin and the new the Oasis skin. I have Oasis. I like them both. So awesome. good. Yeah. And it works so well with the Summer Games emote. I yeah, I kind of dig it. Although now now both of my video game characters wear helmets where you can't really tell how they see through them, <laughs> which I think is interesting. Like I guess you don't really need to see my face. It's really okay. <laughs> 
Video game logic. <laughs> Next. A Jedi needs not his son. Exactly. <laughs> Yes. I have a question for Josh. So, how was your experience working with Riot Games with Galio? Oh, with League of Legends and yeah. Galio. Wow, that was really an honor because he was he was kind of different because he was a reworked character. So when you step into something that somebody's already done, and with a community as passionate as the League of Legends community, <laughs> uh, I was really nervous that they wouldn't accept it. The audition for him was grueling. Um, there was the first round of callbacks I went to and never heard anything. Two months later, the audition came back and I doubted myself. I said, oh, I don't know, man. I said, they already heard me in the studio once. They didn't pick me then. Why would I do this again? And then that voice in my head, don't give up voice, was like, do it. What do you got to lose? So I did it. They called me back. I did it a different way on the third audition, but when they called me back for the next callback, they didn't even want to hear, like, no, we just are glad you re auditioned. We want to hear it the way you did it again. So do that for us. That's good. No. You know. <laughs> they were a great team. Riot is amazing to work with. Um, I really had a, f they're really funny. Um, some of the gatekeeper Galio lines we did were wildly inappropriate. What do you, what do you sound like? And it was like, he's. <laughs> So Galio is like, I'm a big building, and I'm gonna smash you, you little blue thing. Right? <laughs> and Gatekeeper Galio is like, seven circle straight there. Like, so. But that was, I was really happy that the community accepted it, and I felt honored and flattered that the response was so great. So thank you. That's that was always yeah. Right there. You guys ever read any of your fictional relationships that the fan art? <laughs> <laughs> Rule 34, Do we read uh, it? Did you say? What did you say? Yeah, do you guys like know about them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? <laughs> I want everybody to ship with everybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't have specific ones I like. I, I just love that you guys love them and, and we dig that. We, yeah. we love that you guys throw them together and that's cool. One of the, probably the well one of the coolest things about about watching this community grow is the creativity. The the fan art, the cosplay, the fan fiction. One of the reasons I think a lot of us prefer to plead the fifth when it comes to our opinions on things like that is because we don't ever want to stifle the creativity that's coming from you guys. So much extraordinary fan art comes from your mind, so much extraordinary fan fiction comes from things you think, you know, the theories and all of that. That I would, I don't think any of us would ever, ever, ever want to stifle that. So until something's canon, it's free reign. <laughs> Y'all put it out there. Next, blue. Um, how do you guys ever play a prank on one another? Because we see you guys hang out in like the videos of you guys meeting up and stuff. Like, was there a prank played on someone that was amazing, like hilarious or anything like that? Yeah, you guys played a prank on me last night, didn't you? You told me to meet me at the bar at 10, and I waited there for two hours. And no one was... <laughs> Dude, someone named about? Roadhog came along and we sat with him at the bar. <laughs> he lies. We totally hung out last night. Totally yeah. I'm a liar. Pranks? No, I think it's more about us enjoying being stupid together than necessarily playing pranks on each other. Like, we come and we're like, oh my god, what if we do this thing? Oh my god, what if we do this thing? Let's do this thing. Let's do this stupid thing together. Let's be stupid. Um, so, rather than... Although, well, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, but the video he did with uh, Josh where he comes in with a loot box. With all the loot box. We, he just said, hey guys, I'm going to do this and I'm going to give you some gifts and you guys do what you, gotta, what you wanna do, and yeah. we're like, okay. And so it was literally just all yeah. improv, which was really fun, because Genji's fun. the bomb. Yeah, oh my yeah. god. So, you know, I think we just love improv and, and being ridiculous, yeah. so. Yeah. I agree. And it usually comes out of us naturally hanging out together, and then watch the stupidity ensue. Oh, you know what was funny, though? When we discovered Farah and we did her, like, oh, release right, right, video, right, right. Um, uh, Lucy Pole and I were like, okay, we're gonna meet up with her, and, and so we decided to do this news thing where, like, oh, we have discovered Farah, da, 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 breaking news. And so we're like, oh, let's pretend like it's this, you know, international thing, you know? All right, so, you know, you speak German, do German, I'll do Italian, da, 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 da. got all these languages, and then she goes, mami, tami, lame, rakatami, rakatami, lame, lame, rakitami, and I'm like, She's making up a language. I really, I swear to God, I thought she was making up a language. And she's like, no, it's Greek. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> Lucy Paul speaks Greek. But I totally thought that she was, you know when you like gibberish make up a language? Like I'll do French and I'll be like, so I just thought she was doing that. And it was literally Greek. So anyway. Greek is a beautiful language, by the way. It is. Sounds great. One more question. This guy's had his hand up right here in the Kingdom Hearts shirt. Yellow stripes. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm not the monitor. We'll do two. We'll do one. Um, when you guys get on Overwatch, do you ever get on 
voice job and control your team. Yes. I am not coordinated enough to do those two things at once. <laughs> I got, I got to focus on not walking off a cliff. I got basic expectations of myself. <laughs> it's true. I do all Tell the time. Tell us about it. I'll do, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be a huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, do you but do your I own? I got wishes. We're all animals. The power of science. <laughs> <laughs> all the little voice boys, I'd hop in, and I love it. i do the road hog. like, that's a really good voice changer. I'm like, I know, it's $6,000. <laughs> Do you want to hear my Optimus Prime one? They're like, yeah, like, hold on. <clears throat> Autobots, stand by. Prepare for a blow. You're hysterical. I do. <laughs> I hope that I can get coordinated enough to play a different character, but then say, setting up the car wash, and have it like, where, where, where is she? Where's the room? Oh my God, where's the kill room? There's a kill room. But someday, that's when it's like advanced. Goals. We're going to get there someday. Yeah, exactly. Hashtag goals. Can we get one last yes, question? Yes, from you, because you've had your hand up a yeah. couple times. Yeah. Right here. Um, talk about this when we met over there, but um, so Overwatch changes a lot, especially with every update. So when there's big changes to each character, specifically your guys' character, do you guys have like an attachment? Like Symmetra, I know they reworked her and they made her ridiculously awesome. So like, do you guys feel awesome? <laughs> like, do they get a huge buff or like when they get a nerf? Like, is that kind of nerf this? Right. Um, uh, I mean, it's off obviously it's cool, but it's cool mostly because it's cool for the players more than for us. Like, yeah. we might have anything that is exciting for you guys is exciting for us. It, it really has very little to do with our own personal opinions as much as what you, because this whole game, the reason, I mean, this game is awesome in and of itself, but the reason it is as awesome as it is, is this community yes. ran with it. You guys grabbed onto it and just like, went from, you know, on a scale of one to 10, took it to a 342. You just like took everything and ran with it. So everything that excites you makes us more excited. Great answer. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, give it up for the lovely voice actor. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, so much. Guys, we're doing photo ops, we're doing signing, we got posters, we're doing selfies, whatever we'll fun stuff. Join we're us at the tables. We have great stuff sitting. over there. Come check us out. If you just want to come say hi, too, it's free to yes, say hi. Thank hi. you so much come for your time, hi. guys. I greatly appreciate it. Thank, thank you, Phoenix. Great questions. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Wasn't that awesome? Oh man, it was such a wonderful well experience. Done. If anyone's Thank still you. watching after an hour. Yes. <laughs> You're awesome. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that billy bell, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was awesome. All right, we'll see you guys. I'll see ya.